Hi guys, my name is Emma and today we are going to be doing a side lying series. Side lying series is one of my favorites, it's one of my client's favorites too. So if you just want to lie on your mat and get a glute and leg burn and a little bit of an oblique and core workout, abdominals, get the whole body working, then this one is for you. So jump on your mat and let's get started. Oh, you don't need any equipment apart from yourself and the mat. Let's go. So lying down on your mat, we're going to start with our left leg down on the bottom first. So our right leg is going to be up on the top. We're going to come lying down. We bring our bottom knee underneath us. So we're bringing it into a bent position here. And we're just going to lay ourselves down, get nice and relaxed. You can either have your head on your arm here or you can um, lie on your hand like this. Bringing your top leg out nice and long. We want to make sure that our, our hips are nice and level here. So our hips are nice and on top of each other. Well, our top hip is on top of our bottom hip, if that makes any sense. We just don't want to be sagging down into the mat, okay? So we're staying nice and lifted. All right, let's get started. Our top hand is in front of our rib cage here and our core is nice and engaged to help us stabilize. So we're simply just gonna start with a lift and lower. We're gonna point our foot to lift, flex our foot to lower. Good. You really want to be thinking about engaging your hamstring here and engaging where the hamstring meets the glute. So I'm trying to work out my legs while I'm doing this. Um, so engaging that kind of smiley area of where your glute and your hamstring meet, okay? You might start to feel a little bit of a burn straight away. It's a good thing about side lying series is that Ooh, you get a good burn, but you also get to lie down. And we can be here for quite a while. <laughs> you can close down your eyes if you wish. Let's do four more. Point to lift, flex the lower. We have two. And last one here, good, we hold it up. We pulse and pulse. So just little lifts. I want you to have that leg nice and straight here. You're really lifted from the knee. And we're not just flinging that leg, right? We're staying nice and controlled. It's nice purposeful movement. Good, we have four, three, two, and one, good work. We flex, no, we keep that foot pointed. We bring that knee in towards the chest. Flex that point, and flex that point, flex that foot and press it out. Good, we point to bring that knee in, flex, press that foot away. So as we bring that foot out, so as we press it away, we're slightly getting a little bit further than our bum, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> So it's not coming like directly in line with your bum, it's going a little bit further. So you should just feel a little bit more of a burn. Good. So point to bring it in, flex to press away, nice strong legs. Good, let's do three more here. Two. And last one, we hold that leg out, press it behind you. We lift and lower. We lift and lower, good. Keep your core engaged here. We have four, three, two, last one. Awesome work. This time I want you to sweep it to the front. Keep that core engaged. Your hips are still level. Bring that heel towards the ceiling. We lift up, lower down. We lift and lower. Good. 
good. Let's do four more, then pulses. Two, one, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bring that knee in. Give your butt a little bit of a hit, <laughs> a little bit of love if you need. Shake it out. Beautiful. Bringing both knees together now. I'm wanting you to bring your knees in line with your hips. Let's press that top hip away again. So make sure you're not sagging down onto the mat. When we change positions, we can tend to lose that alignment. So push that top hip away. We're going to bring that knee up and press it down. Bring that knee up and press it down. So you're giving yourself resistance here, okay? So you're thinking about that knee. It's like an open door, opening the door, closing the door. The movement is coming from the side of your glute here, okay? If you're finding that you're getting a little bit of tension around that um, hip flexor and your glute isn't turning on, press into that glute and it will switch on that muscle. Muscles are sensitive to touch, so it should help a bit. <laughs> Good. Let's do four. This is called a clam. Three, two, last one. Hold up, pulse for eight, seven, six, three, two, and one. Beautiful, bringing it down. Bring those heels up now. Bring the heels, um, sorry, the feet up. Bring the heels together. We're going to come into an elevated clam. So you lift that top knee up towards the ceiling. All right. Make sure that those hips are nice and level. Keep that core engaged. You can come down onto your arm at any point if you need to. Good. Squeeze that glute, let's do four, three, two, last one, hold up, little press back, back. You have four, three, two, and one, well done. Bringing it down, just give your glute a little bit of love here. Awesome work. Coming up, bringing your feet into like a mermaid position here. So your left leg, the bottom leg, is in this kind of 90 degree angle and your right leg is coming up kind of to meet it. Your right knee is meeting your left foot. And you just bend over, have a nice stretch out. Take a big breath. And then flip your arm, flip your arms, flip your legs. Gosh, I'm getting everything mixed up today, aren't I? <laughs> and stretch over to the other side. Take a breath. And exhale, good work. Let's come straight over to the other side. So lying down and finding your comfortable position, whether you're lying down fully or resting that head on your hand. Good, that bottom leg is slightly bent just to give you some stabilization here. That top hand is next to your rib cage, belly is engaged and your leg is straight, coming straight out from your hip here. So just finding that comfortable position, making sure those hips are in alignment. We point to lift, flex to lower. Good, we point to lift, flex to lower. So just breathing here. Side lying series is so good to do when you know you want a bit of a burn, but you might not be like bothered to do much else. You know you want a little bit of a glute burn, and you know you don't want to do something on your mat, but you can't be bothered doing much. <laughs> good. Let's do four more. Three, two, last one here, bringing it down, then lift up, we pulse up.
good. We have four, three, two, and one. Keep that foot pointed. We bring that knee in towards our chest, flex that foot, press it up. Good. Bring that knee in, flex the foot, press it out. Remember that leg is going slightly past your bum. Okay, so you're pressing it away, like almost to the diagonal corner of your mat, okay? The bottom of your mat. Keep breathing and close your eyes down if you want. <laughs> Might be bedtime for you or you might have just woken up. <laughs> Good. Let's do three more then we hold that leg back. Last one here, press it back. We lift up, 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 up. Keep that core engaged. Good. We have four. Three, two, and one. Awesome work. Sweep that leg forward. We lift and lower. Oh, sorry. You've got your heel up towards the ceiling, toe down towards the floor. Just gives you a bit of an extra burn. See, I was trying to cheat then. <laughs> Three, two, Last one, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, bringing those knees together. You can punch that bum out if you'd like. Awesome work. So bringing those knees up into a um, kind of 90 degree angle here, press that top hip away. We're coming straight into our clam. So we lift that leg, press it down. We lift. And lower. Again, you can lie down if you wish. Certainly feeling it in my glute quite sore today. Ooh. Let's do four, three, two pulses after this. Last one, we pulse for eight. Two and one, beautiful work. Bringing that, those knees together, bringing those feet off the ground. Bring your heels together here. So you're creating like little penguin feet. And then you bring that top knee up and drop it down. That top knee lifts and lowers, good. Keep breathing, keep, put a smile on your face. <laughs> I'm so sore today, I don't know. I normally can do heaps of side lying. I'm like dying today. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it's all good. Let's do four, three, if you can do it, I can do it. Two, <laughs> last one, hold up, a little press back, back, back. So it's just that knee, that, that shin and that thigh lifting up, 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 good. You have four, three, two and one. Well done, drop it down. Give that glute some love. And when you're ready, pressing up, we're coming into that mermaid position here. And stretch it over. And over to the other side. Good. Just bringing your feet out in front of you here. Press up into the chest, so drop, make sure the shoulders are dropped down and you're nice and proud. Bring that left foot over the top of that right knee 
and you get that nice glute stretch here. So you should feel it kind of in this area. Oh, I certainly am. <laughs> in that left uh, leg, left glute. Make sure we're not sagging down into the shoulders. We're nice and lifted. Good, and when you're ready, just heel toe that bottom foot over towards the other side and grab onto that left leg with your right arm. So we inhale and exhale to twist. I want you to think about bringing that knee in towards your chest rather than the twist so much here. It's more of a glute stretch that we're after rather than that spinal twist. Awesome work and let's take it to the other side. So that right leg goes over that left knee, just flex that foot and press up into the chest. You might find that you're a little bit more sore on one side than the other. That's totally normal. I'm not as sore on this side. And then heel toe that left foot over towards the right, grabbing onto that right knee with that left arm. We inhale and exhale to twist. Remember, you're focusing on that glute stretch rather than um, that spinal twist. Big breaths here. Nice work. And you can just release that. So we're all done, guys. Well done with that nice um, little sideline series. Uh, if you want a little more, just go and check out one of my other videos and you can connect, connect the dots. <laughs> You'll work it out. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you later.